The Maps Air Museum has many different unique art pieces on display, as well as many others that are archived. This is a presentation of some highlighted art pieces of two different aircraft, the C-47 Skytrain and the B-26 Marauder, both of which are displayed here at the Maps Air Museum. Art and photography can help tell us a story behind specific events or individuals involved with said aircraft, which is an integral part in the museum's mission statement of education. To some, it is just an airplane, but to others, it is a storybook. The first art piece is a painting done by R.G. Smith called Over the Hump. Smith started painting in the 1930s and is known as the father of American aviation art and the founder of the American Art Association. Employed by McDonnell Douglas in his early years, he found inspiration in aviation. Over the Hump was painted between the 1960s and the 1970s and was part of a series called Silver Wings. This is an open edition print, which means it is not a limited quantity print. It features a C-47 flying the hump in World War II, part of the CVI theater. The CVI theater included the countries China, Burma, and India, and was used to fly supplies by the Allies. This was a very dangerous mission, as it often flew close or directly over Japanese-held territory. It is an overall simple piece of art, but it speaks volumes to how the C-47 was used and how many people put themselves into harm's way while flying. Following the end of World War II, a civilian version of the aircraft called the DC-3 was produced. Many C-47s are still used today as cargo planes, which speaks volumes as to how well they were built many years ago. The second art piece is a pencil drawing done by English artist Nicholas Trudgeon. He is widely regarded as being one of the best aviation artists in the world. Trudgeon also uses paint as a medium, but pencil is his specialty. As you can see, a signature can be seen upside down at the top right corner. This could possibly be a pilot that signed the wrong way, as pilots or crew of said aircraft or specific squadrons sometimes sign pieces at conventions or meetups. This is a limited print, and a B-26 Marauder can be seen flying in the air. The B-26 was one of the great World War II bombers used by the Allied forces. This drawing really accentuates the sleek, circular design of it. The B-26 also had the lowest loss rate of any Allied bomber. During World War II, over 900 Marauders were lost in combat and they dropped over 169,000 pounds of bombs. It was given the nickname the Widowmaker because of the difficulty it brought to pilots to fly it. However, it was very effective in combat. With it being retired after the war ended, this makes this aircraft extremely rare, and art pieces such as this a great thing to have at the maps to show alongside the B-26 displayed. The third art piece is a painting titled D-Day Armada and was done by an artist named Robert Taylor. He is one of the top aviation artists of all time, if not ever. The piece depicts C-47s and B-51s crossing the beaches at Normandy during the D-Day invasion on June 6, 1944. Invasion stripes can be seen on all Allied aircraft, as this was a standard procedure before the invasion. This was done in order to, deter to determine friend from foe. This art piece is signed by many people that participated in D-Day. It is a limited print, probably out of 1,250 or 1,000, as Taylor did many to print runs of 1,250 and 1,000. The fourth art piece is a photograph taken at the Tempelhof Central Airport in West Berlin just after World War II. The Soviets closed the corridor to West Berlin, so the Allies had to feed supplies to West Berlin by air. B-17s can be seen with no turrets, possibly to be turned into supply aircraft. C-47s are up front, and one towards the corner reads European Airport Transport Service. This photo is of the airport blockade that took place during that time, around 1948 or 49. This is a very fascinating story attached to the C-47, as well as the civilian version of it, the DC-3. The Skytrain is, in many respects, one of the most versatile military aircraft ever built, and because of that people still use them today in some countries for transportation of supplies. The fifth art piece is a painting called Heading for Home by an artist named Jeff Pleasance. Pleasance has been painting aircraft for most of his life. This piece depicts the 386th bomb group of B-26 Marauders, led by the plane Thumbs Up. It is returning from a mission in France from 1944 in June. According to the American Air Museum, this particular bomb group flew missions that targeted aerodromes, marshalling yards, and V-weapon sites along the coast of France from 1943 to 44. 
The group then moved to northern France to support the push eastward by the Allied forces in October of 1944. The painting was signed by many people, possibly some of that squadron or others who flew B-26s. The sixth art piece is another Robert Taylor painting called Into Battle. It is a companion print that is paired with the other piece, which means if you bought one of them, you would also receive the other one as well. It depicts C-47s on D-Day dropping paratroopers, probably 101st or 82nd Airborne troopers. It is a great action painting of the invasion. In the left corner, there are, letters, there are the letters AP. It stands for Artist Proof, which means that that specific print belonged to the artist, rather than the publishing company. It makes them more collectible, so it is a nice piece to have at maps. The seventh art piece is a pencil drawing called Douglas C-47 and Waco CG-4 Glider by an artist named Keith Fox. He is a lesser known artist. This is an open edition print done in pencil. This is a great example of how often the gliders would crash land at their destination, often injuring or killing men on board. The glider itself was designated the name CG-4A by the United States Army. The British military gave it the service name Hadrian, named after the Roman Emperor. More than 13,000 gliders were delivered to the Allied forces by Waco Aircraft Company during World War II. The eighth art piece is a painting called Misty Marauder, painted by an artist named John Young. He is a British artist that has been painting professionally since the 1950s and has painted many different aircraft over the years. This particular piece is of a B-26 in front of a background that is foggy and misty, hence the name Misty Marauder. It emphasizes the sheer size of the B-26 and how hard it must have been to maneuver even on a landing strip. With its small wing area and resulting high wing loading, it required a very fast landing speed of anywhere between 120 and 135 miles per hour, depending on the load. Of the 5,157 Marauders built, only six survive today. The MAPS Air Museum has the oldest surviving B-26 today, one of the 201 original ordered. This makes the B-26 a staple in the entire aircraft collection. The art piece is a limited print out of 650, so this makes it a great piece for the B-26 collection. The MAPS Air Museum has a great art collection that has been curated and collected over the years. These are just some of the art featured of two aircraft that the museum has.